wrath because it is see God punishes those who he loves God will punish those who he loves if he doesn't love you then you're not being punished you're not being punished if God doesn't love you and God loves those God loves everyone but he punishes those that he truly loves and so let's worship God for not only just his goodness but his wrath at the same time because if it wasn't for God's wrath we would not be where we're at today because see you got to go through something my pastor Michigan bishop says before you can see the light at the end of the tunnel let me say that to you again we got to go through something before you can see the light at the end of the tunnel let me say that to you again you got to go through something before you can see the light at the end of the tunnel so with that being said, we got to go through God's wrath. God's wrath is important in this day and age because if we, if your mom or your dad never ever punished you for anything you did, you could think you could get away with the world. That's the same way with Jesus. If Jesus doesn't punish the those that he loves, we can think we can get away with the world. We can't. This says in the word, what is it that profits a man to gain the whole world but lose his soul? What is, it, what is it to a man that gains the whole world but loses his soul? So with that being said, let's worship God with, I come to worship you for his goodness and his wrath all at the same time. So enjoy, I come to worship you. By none other than Dudley Smith, enjoy, I come to worship you.
That was the Come to Worship You by none other than Dudley Smith. Let's get into it now because we do worship you, Lord. Let's do. He's been there by none other than Dr. Prophet Larry O'Rell. Enjoy. He's been there. Remember, guys, whatever you are going through, guess what? He's been there. 
He defeated the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. He defeated that all on that cross, and he's been there. Whether it's lust you're going through, whether it's pornography you're going through, drugs, alcohol, whether it's the fact that you eat too much, like my sister does. God forgive her, and I don't hate her. Or whether it's, you know, that you, whatever the case is, whatever, even if it's that you, you know, and excuse my friends, but cheated on God by worshiping another idol. Doesn't mean that you physically went to a new religion and you worshiped Allah, Buddha, Muhammad, but what about that car that, that you washed until you saw your face in it, but yet you didn't go to church this week? Or what about that new game system you got and you played it instead of going to church? Well, God will forgive me for this week. I'll miss this week, but I'll go next week. I'll go Wednesday night when I normally don't. And I'll even go Sunday night because I don't normally go that either. I'll make sure I make it up to God. Wait a minute. That is an idol at that moment. So whatever the case is, God's been there through everything. He defeated not only the hell, death, and they took the keys and, it, and overtook the grave and all that stuff. He also overcame what? The lusty eyes, the lust of flesh, and the pride of life. So God overlooked all that, and guess what? God has been there through all of that. So whatever you go through, God has been there. Let's get into another one, shall we? Let's get into Dr. Tom Ray, simply entitled in your name, because it only is in his name that everything under the sun must bow before him. So enjoy in your name. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord Jesus. 